begin this interview by asking you that what made you conceive this Adi Yogi and what made you come to this conclusion that it is necessary and important in pursuit of your spirituality and for people? It's not in pursuit of my spirituality. My spirituality doesn't need any form. I don't need a temple nor a mountain, nor a statue. But to inculcate this in the world, to bring spiritual process as a day-to-day -day aspect of your life. My fundamental goal is to bring down spirituality from the mountain top to the street. I want to redefine the term street <laughs> right now. If you say street, people will think booze, drugs, prostitution. This is what street represents. It's my vision that in the next fifteen to twenty years, we need to transform this street. Street should mean well-being, street should mean love, street should mean meditativeness, street should mean spiritual process. In this effort, there are many things being done. One important thing is an iconic face. So, Adi Yogi predates all religion and before the idea of religion came, he expounded the science of human well-being in a scientific way not as a philosophy, not as a religion, not as a belief system, not as an ideology, but as a technology, as a science, methods of transformation, not philosophies of transformation. So, he's relevant. Though he is fifteen thousand years ago, he belongs to the future because only now humanity is coming to this place where Human intellect is firing like never before, more people can think for themselves than ever before. People are looking at things logically. I think the appropriate time for Adi Yogi to explore on the planet has come because human intellect has come to that place where they can start looking at their well-being with not fanciful belief systems or ideologies, but as a science, as there is a science for external well-being. There's an entire science for inner well-being. You know, you... That's you, what he represents. In your discourse, you have been talking about form, structure, uh, relevance of uh, creating scientific spaces for meditation. Can you please elaborate on the fact when you say that the art and the science of temple making has been lost? Why do you say that in your discourse? See, all physical form, whether it's your own body or the planet, or the solar system or the universe or the atom. From the smallest to the ultimate physical manifestation. Physical manifestation is the way it is because of its geometric proportions. It is perfection of geometry which holds physical forms in space. This planet is not tied to the sun with a cable, it's a geometric perfection. If it goes off this orbit, it won't come back again. It holds that because of a certain geometric perfection. So entire science of yoga is just this, to get your system into such a geometric perfection that you are aligned with the cosmic geometry. In this effort, we also create physical forms. Uh, look at this form, this is not about aesthetically, yes, there is a certain beauty to it, but above all, there is a geometric perfection to this that if you view Adi Yogi's face for a minute without taking off your attention, that's it. For your life, this image will be imprinted on your mind, you can never take it off. The idea is to put that imprint into people's minds so that their inspiration is towards their inner well-being. Their inspiration and their natural longing will become for their ultimate well-being not squandering their life doing petty things.